What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Tyler or Deathly. I am the owner of the S and D Elite. Now, I got a couple of things I wanted to talk to you guys about today. My main commentary topic, as you guys see by the title and thumbnail, is I'm going to be discussing the benefits of running two times lethals. Um, now, there are several lethals to be using in this game. I do not recommend running around running double bouncing Bettys unless you want to get bitched at. But um, in this video here, I'm going to talk about the benefits of running those. Um, how I think. It's drastically different from other Call of Duties. And then I'm also going to talk about a uh, competition we're going to have up, up and coming here within the next month or so. So you guys might want to keep an eye out for that announcement video coming soon. All right, so there are six lethals in the game of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You've got Semtex Grenades, you have Frag Grenades, you've got the Combat Axe, C4, Bouncing Bettys, and Claymores. Not necessarily unlocked in that order. Now, I am personally a huge fan as you saw in that first round as well as in this round here of the double frag grenades for some reason in black ops 2 i feel that the frag grenades and the semtaxes as well just seem to hit a lot harder than they have in any of the previous call of duties calling in that sexy paper airplane to go do some damage boom bitch get the dick so um with those lethals, I just feel that having twice as many opportunities to get kills, destroy equipment, um, do whatever you need to do with your grenades is an awesome way of going about things. Uh, double combat axes can also be extremely effective in close up combat in search and destroy. And as I've talked about with you guys, whether on my channel or on here, search and destroy is all about those gun on gun battles. You have that one opportunity to stay alive each round and when it comes down to that face-to-face -face contact uh, double times combat axe uh, come on guys who uh, who doesn't get jacked or super pissed when you uh run up to a guy and get combat axe t two inches away but from the receiving end it sucks but when you're the one out there with your two times combat axe giving kids the dick you're just smiling and laughing to yourself as you move through and ace the round or something um two times c4 as manny discussed in his commentary yesterday the next thing he's probably going to carry over when he prestiges is his c4 because that is the average surgeon destroy players go to move with equipment it is a such a versatile piece of a lethal um so basically with the two times lethals that I'm talking about you guys would be equipping the danger close you're giving up a slot with your pick 10 but you are getting so much more back when you get to run twice as many um, double claymores little campy but you can place claymores and strategic points on the map and end up benefiting from those double semtex just as versatile as the frag grenades um personally i've been a huge fan of semtex in previous call of duties for some reason in black ops i've just been utilizing the frag grenades so much more than i have ever previously uh the fact that you can cook them and just roll them down alleys especially here on overflow where there are a ton of choke points as you can see on this rush here uh you guys want to make sure you wait the full eight seconds to toss them because whether they're in the air or not um you're not going to be able to call them in until eight seconds in uh, and then 16 for your kill streaks, unfortunately. But the lightning strike and those low streaks are what are going to give you those great go to gameplays as I drop four kids in one round with my lightning strike there. Um, now, I've got to say, guys, quick before this video wraps up, thank you all for uh, showing so much more support as we're coming back hard with these daily uploads. Uh, you guys tremendous amount of support on Nick's video as well as temps and dysfunctions uh, big ups to those guys to bring in more of you guys over here so we're gonna continue to be posting or at least doing our best to bring you guys some daily content over here at the SD elite so be sure to uh, subscribe and check out our daily content as well as the variety of other directors we've got going on now with this announcement for you guys um, we are gonna be bringing a SD commentator showdown uh, starting, I believe, in January, we're going to post the announcement and give you guys some of your Christmas noobs that just got the game a chance to figure out s and um, The whole point of it is we're going to bring in one, two, or maybe even three guys that we find throughout the competition into the s and Elite to be posting on our channel. So all we're really looking for is some HD gameplay and people that can commentate. So we're going to be pairing you guys up in like a bracket style. Uh, give you guys a chance to get some exposure and possibly even get partnered uh, or become a member of the channel. So keep an eye out for that announcement videos. If you guys have anything in particular for how you'd like it to be 
um, done. Um, leave some comments in the comment section below, but we're probably going to have like a panel of judges and then just uh, pick on like commentary style, uh, efficiency in the gameplay, knowledge of the game, stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you guys liked what you saw here, be sure to head on over to my own channel for some more S&D gameplay, some hilarious rage, and some of that classic Modern Warfare 2 action. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know you were here in the comment section below. I'll be answering questions you guys have about the game or the contest or whatever. Peace.